just about set showing the slab in today's game Kohei Arihara well you can see his whip is a little above the league average not bad but I think in this one he's going to need to control that a little bit better try to limit hitters from getting on base stay in that windup instead of the stretch and when he does allow base runners be able to throw a pitch he's going to get a swing and miss get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. Runner leads away at second. And a foul ball, he stays alive. LeMayhew, the runner at second with one away. That one is absolutely belted. That's going back. Back some more. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Ball back in quickly. Runner holds it third. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. He hit that ball really well, the deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Roll to Prado, and the first run of the game comes across. They'll expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. Let's see if he gives them anything to hit here. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Run around the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Ow! And that will end it. One down. And now it's Kyle Isbell. And he's already singled in this game. The designated hitter, Kyle. The one two. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Runner tags and will move up to third. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Not fooled at all right there. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. And a pitch. Out there to center. And they get Perez for the out. And that is that. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Royals three and the Yankees. Number 12 stepping in now for the Yankees. Now Number 12. And first offering is fouled off. LeMayhew, the lead runner at second. Crawford on at first with nobody out. Next one misses, and that's ball one. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. The one two swing and a high fly ball pretty well struck right field stretches out and hauls it in tags up from second and he'll head to third well I think the wind ended up being a factor right there it's whipping in from right field right now so otherwise now it's the second baseman Michael Massey he's all for one Left hand batter waits. Benintendi on the go. That one hammered center field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. This one in the air center field. That is the inning. Royals leave one. So digging in, number 12. On, now number 12. Let's go. Hard ground ball, base knock.
Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And he walked him. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Trey Mancini now. Now here's a flare off the bat. Puts it away for the out. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. And he'll two. And he lays down a bunt. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, he saw an opportunity to drop a drag bond and made it work out. Tied him up really well with that pitch inside. Couldn't get it out of the infield, but somehow turns it into a nog. That's a thing of beauty, and some hits just don't make sense. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Well, got to pause on that thought as that at the play, Michael Massey. The batter, number six. Second and now the lefty, Michael, into center. Number 12 under it and makes the grab and there's two away. The right fielder number seven. So one out nobody on and stepping in for the Yankees number 12. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base but because of the power you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. And first offering is fouled off. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Kicks and fires. And it's fouled away. Stays alive. The pitch. Right side, Davis under it, puts it away for the out. So they're down to their final out, and here is number 12. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. The Yankees looking to rally. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And he deals. In the air, left field. That's back there. Turning and looking, and it's gone. So he goes the opposite way with that one, and just like that, the well, all game, these guys had to battle with that 10th man, those fans making a lot of noise, but they took the lead in the ninth inning, quieted things down. They were able to get those final three outs in the bottom half as well. Just a very well executed ball game. Number 12, stepping in now for the Yankees. That's third, the center fielder. Number 12. And that's a base hit. And now a two-out opportunity for Giancarlo Stanton. Hey, nice right there. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. Just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just launched the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. We go to the bottom of the first. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Leading up for the Royals. Two two down. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one's back. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And it's a double to start the bottom of the first. Well, a swing like that can help you come out. Of Andrew Benintendi steps up. That's towards center. Number 12 glides back. And that's the third out. Royals. 
And now number 12. Now batting. Number 12. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Crawford around third. He will score, and they take a two-run lead, and that's a two-out double. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. We head down to the... Cattell Marte up to the plate. The switch hitter batting right. 2-2 two -two now. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Royals back. And welcome back. Ready to go, bottom four. Now it'll be the cleanup hitter for the Royals, Salvador Perez. The catcher, Salvador Perez. This to center field. Hayes makes his way towards it. Makes the grab one away. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Number 12 stepping in now for the Yankees. Now back. Number 12. Got her for Leffa on the go. There's a ball. No throw, safe at second. And a pitch. In the air, center field. Marte settles underneath it. Makes the catch. And that'll do it. Run on one. So two away with nobody on. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. In the air to left center. They get the out on Marte. And that is the third out of the inning. Royals back here at Kauffman Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder number 12. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Hey, can't see it. Drive it like you can. Let's go. Kicks and deals. Right side, reaches on the backhand, but it's through. And here it comes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Come on, baby, see you driving. And a pitch. And fouled off. Here's the 0-2. In the air, out towards right center. Davis, ranging back. Got it! Covered plenty of distance there. And there's one down. Here's Cattell Marte. The center fielder, number four. Cattell. The pitch. Marte. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And that is that. A shutout in this one, 3-0, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. Bottom of the first, Adelberto Mundesi up to the plate. Leading up for the Royals, the third baseman, number Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Around first, digging for two. Not stopping, he's going for three. And he makes it to third, winning run aboard, and nobody out. Back here in Kansas City, new inning getting started. Now it's the power-speed combo, number 12. Number Singer, back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Singer, he isn't really known as the starting pitcher that's going to get you deep into the start. It's not that he's not capable, he just hasn't proven that he can do it yet. He's got such great stuff. You just don't know from start to start whether it's a potential no-hitter or it's a guy that's only going to give you three or four innings. 
Next offering is fouled back. The 0 2. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. No, that's not the best two strike. Base is empty, one away. Number 12, the next to hit. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Whips it to Moran. Play is made, two out. Number 12, stepping in now for the Yankees. And first offering is fouled off. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. They haven't scored yet in this game, and with that swing, definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Next offering is fouled back. Going two now. Yep, that ball went out. Hey, any way you can, any way you can. Here we go. Bounce to the right side. Gets it to first. Go. Two gone now. Met at first. And here's the first baseman, Colin first Moran. Baseman. One for two. Colin. And that one is lifted in the air. Number 12 under it. And there's one down. Now batting. Stepping in the long ball threat. Number 12. Now batting. Number 12. Ground ball left side. And a base hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two away. Two outs, runner at first. And up next for New York, Austin Hayes. And he's up. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. That's hard hit on the line. Davis makes the catch, and that'll do it. Bottom of the inning, now batting Jonathan Davis. Way to go for the Royals. No left fielder. Jonathan Out to center. Davis. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Five one is how it ends.